Hi everyone, what's up? Welcome back to my tutorial channel. It's Daniela Tran here and today we are going to work on some more practice problem that I collected from the IFM exam. Uh, this lesson is section 2-1, the advanced level. It consists of five problems. Let's start with the first problem. You are given the following information. Assess A, F, and M, where the expected return 6%, 5%, and 12% respectively. Beta are 0 0.25, 0, and 1 respectively. A here is assess A, F is a risk-free asset, and M is a market portfolio. Um, and the question is, is A overpriced? correctly price or under price. So remember in order to uh, verify whether an assess or a portfolio is overpriced, correctly priced or under price, we have to verify whether it lies on the security market line. If the assess is right on the security market line is correctly priced, if it's above then it's underpriced, and if it's below, it's overpriced. So, let's um, uh, use the security market line to find the expected return of A, and then compare with the expected return of A given from the table. Using the security market line, we have expected rate of return of um, assets A is equal to RF, plus beta A times RM minus RF is equal to 0 0.05 plus 0 0.25 times 0 0.12 minus 0 0.05 and is equal to 0 0.0675 which is 6.75% so here we see that the expected return of assets A on the security market line is 6.75% but the actual expected return of A is 6% so we see this one is overpriced because A is priced 6.75% which is higher than its actually price of 6% so A is overpriced. Problem 2 A firm market value balance sheet is as follows Assess value fund rate debt to rate equity 3 rate The firm value is fine rate The firm value is fine rate the risk-free rate of interest is 3.5%, beta equity is 1.2, the beta of debt is 0.2, and the return on the market portfolio is 14.4%. Calculate the company's cost of capital. So here, first of all, we have to calculate beta of the assets using the beta uh, of assets formula we got beta of assets is equal to the ratio of debt over assets time with beta of debt plus equity over assets time beta of equity and is equal to two fifth time point two plus three fifth time one point two and is equal to point eight the cost of capital um the risk free R F plus beta time the risk premium is equal to 0 0.035 plus 0 0.8 times 0 0.144 subtract 0 0.035 which is 0 0.1222 and it is 12.22% that is the cost of capital of the company used in the security market line problem 2 uh, problem 3. Company XYZ has 20 million of market value equity with beta of 1.2. They also have a, me, a 10 million face 8% annual coupon debentures with uh, mature in 10 years. The debentures currently yield 10% and have a beta of 0.1. What is the beta of the firm's assets? So in this problem, we are given the value of 
of equity 20 million the face value 10 million with coupon 8% much more in 10 years this is for debt this is for debt and um, we got the beta of debt is 0.1 with a current yield 10% and the question asks for what is the beta of the firm assets in order to find beta of the firm assets we can either use the security market line or the average uh, the weighted mean um, of the beta of debt and the beta of equity here we are going to use beta of debt and beta of equity uh, beta of debt is given, beta of equity is given, the value of equity is given, but we don't know the value of debt. So we are going to use the information of the 10 million phase 8% annual coupon mature in 10 years to find the market value of debt. Here we got $10 million. The phase value would be returned after 10 years, at the end of 10 years. So the present value of uh, the phase value is 10V to the 10. And we have 10 coupon. Uh, pass out at the end of each year with a value of coupon at 10 million times 0.08 because the annual coupon rate is 8 percent we got 10 coupons and the present value of them is just the coupon time v1 plus the coupon time v2 and so on to v to the 10 here v is 1.1 to the next one because um, i is 10 percent so V is 1 over 1 plus I, so it should be 1.1 to the negative 1. Plug it into this equation, we got debt value is 8.771087. So now we just have to use weighted mean to find beta of the assets. And we got is 0.86. Yeah. Problem number 3. Number 4. XXX has a market capitalization of 29 billion. This is the equity value. You are given assets beta 1.44, equity cost of capital 8.9%, debt cost of capital 2.66%, risk free rate 2%, market rate return 5.6%. XXX does not hold cash. Determine the amount of XXX debt. The assessed cost of capital is RU is equal to 0.02 plus 1.44 times 0.056 minus 0.02 using security market line, and it should be 0 0.07184. We got RU is equal to 29 over 29 plus D times 0 0.089 plus D over 29 plus D times 0 0.0266 by weighted mean. And from here we solve for D, right, because RU is 0 0.07184 from the abbreviated line. And here we have debt value is 11 billion. Problem 5. You are given the following information about a wrestling company WWWS at WWWF. Equity cost of capital is 6.34%, debt cost of capital is 1.15%, market capitalization 33 billion, outstanding debt 19 billion. WWWF does not cash. You are also given that the risk free rate is 4%. The market portfolio has an expected return of 11% and a variance of 20%. Determine the covariance between WWWF assets and the market portfolio. So in this question we have market capitalization 33 billion which is equity, outstanding debt 17 billion which is D, debt. Um, the cost of capital for equity are E is 6.34%, the debt cost of capital is 1.15%, that is RD. Risk free rate RF 4%. Cost of capital, so here we have uh, by using the weight mean we got RU is 33 over 52 times 0 0.0634 plus 19 over 52 times 0 0.0115 which is 0 0.0444. RU 
is equal to 0 0.04 plus beta u times 0 0.11 minus 0 0.04, which is 0 0.04444. So beta u is 0 0.06338. And from here, we use the formula for beta u in order to find covariance. Beta is equal to covariance between the uh, assessed and the market portfolio over a variance of the market portfolio. And from here, we solve for covariance. So we got 1.268% for the covariance. Alright, so that's it for today. Thanks so much for watching. I hope you guys enjoyed my video. See you on the next video. Bye bye.